I did a thing today and Apocalypse Auto is now the new owner of the Philadelphia Community Missionary Baptist Church bus. It's an old checker limo and this baby is awesome. I just picked it up for 500 bucks at auction. It's all complete, everything is there. It's got a nice little 327 with a four barrel carb. The interior needs a little bit of love, but not much because this is Apocalypse Auto and this is how cars look at the end of the world. So there it is, our new Wasteland rig. This is Wayne's new toy. What year is this? 73? 73. 73 Checker Aero Bus. Or Aerobe in this case. But actually turned into the church bus from Oregon. Because it's awesome. There's cages so the uh, kids didn't escape from the Bible school. Real glass. Oh, latch operation is smooth. Oh, and it's really not that bad. Oh, yeah, check it out. Oh, there. This is the world's oldest can of bug spray. Literally. Some wasp nest. It's all right. They're dead. Headliner's gone. But it doesn't look too bad. All the ribs, all the supports. Hey, Wayne. Big old AC or something hanging in the back. Complete with Montgomery Ward, made in the USA White Walls, and a whole lot of tread still, and a lot of dry rot. All four hubcaps, eight doors, and a holy crap, look out, it's Wayne! Yesterday it was raining badly, today it's not raining at all. Yeah, and the sun came out and it's freaking muggy. Ugh. My forehead's burning. Of course, yeah. I am in, I'm in black and I have no hair to cover it. So, Wayne, what compelled you to get this thing? Well, I was going to kick myself if I didn't actually bid on it and I got it. So now I'm kicking myself because I got it. How long do you think it'll be until it's running? Well, we're going to try and get it running tonight, but it's probably not going to drive for another couple of months. There's a lot to deal with. 22 feet of wholesome churchy goodness. Take two. Homemade chain powered winch. Powered by Chevy. Turn to the right, Wayne. Lined up at all on the rear end. So what I'm thinking is we, we could chain the, the car to the trailer drop everything down and then I can pull forward and get it straight and then we can level the trailer and then this guy can get in here without yeah just pull straight down yeah there. just pull straight down there yeah that'll be a lot easier than going the rest of the way tugging it up there I can fork it and get under Yeah, it. if you came in from the back, the... You might not. You want me to come from the back? Yeah, pick the axle up and... Okay. Yeah, I can do forward. that. Uh, okay. Yeah. You'll be okay to bump into the bumper. It should hit that first. Though. Yeah, I'm not worried about any more dents. You can go right ahead. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, <laughs> not the church bus. Oh. Within yeah, within reason. <laughs> well, I understand, yeah. <laughs> crawl around in the mud after this or looking at this thing to see what it was like 
No, I didn't even care. You just wanted it. Huh? I just wanted it. Everything. I fixed. want it, so I bought it, and oh now I got God. it. Yeah, she was wobbling really bad. Oh, that, that was awful. That yeah, was awful. Coming around that corner there under the bridge. <laughs> Is it too much tongue or too much ass? It's too much ass, I think. It did seem like, yeah, because we're swapping that tire apart, and this one not so much. Why is it so heavy back there? There's neutral. Oh, that other chain. Oh, shit. <sighs> Hope that helps. Second verse, hopefully uh, well different than the first. So we got the checker back to the shop. And Wayne immediately starts playing inside of it. Which is no surprise why the following day, this <laughs> happens. I have a problem. I bought this car. And uh, the interior door handles are completely frozen shut. And I can, I, I can't get I can't get out <laughs> I've tried I've tried all the doors I think I'm stuck I think I'm gonna live here this is kind of cool actually but at the same time somebody said help I'm, I'm I think I'm gonna have to smash a window I think uh, this one's that one's actually so frozen shut. There's no way out of that one. Yeah, I, I locked myself in my car. <laughs> I know that one of these opens from the inside because we got out at one point in time, but I don't know how or where or what door and I'm tired of climbing over seats. Oh my God, I'm free. <laughs> ah, well, now that Wayne got himself free from the checker, let's see if we can get this thing running. Well, oh, that's unheard of. It looks like it's holding water. I don't know why I'm surprised. That's what it's supposed to do. <laughs> well, we got the hood off. We got a battery in it. Giving it a so little drink of water. Looking pretty good. Of course, the radiator is empty, so filling that up with just some water. And it took the whole thing. See if we can get it to turn over, and then we'll find out if she starts. 1991 was the last time that she was on the road. Let's see if it'll run. Come on, baby. Holy shit. That's beautiful. Happy day! Happy day! All she needs is gas. This thing might actually fire. Our trusty Cano gasoline. <sighs> Alright, see what it does. Come on, starter. It runs! That scared me! Ha! <laughs> <laughs> ah, it's doing something! What's going on? Oh, oh, wait. That's what it's supposed to do. Try again. 
Running good. Let's see if she'll drive. Still low. It's moving. Doesn't have brakes, Wayne. Uh, Three dollars of gas ain't gonna get him very far. <laughs> This thing's ran since 1991. We're gonna try and do a burnout, but I don't think it's gonna work. So here we go. And we're moving. <laughs> Away she goes. Wow, the mirrors are even in the right spots. Oh god, it's a bad ride, man. <laughs> don't like it. A little bumpy. Oh, a little look. There's some cops behind us. Oh, great. We're there? It's hunting for gears, but it's engaging. Huh. All right, well, it says it's doing 25 miles an hour. Well, 21, two and a half. Stop. Oh, does it stop? Yeah, it pulls really hard to one side, though. Felt that back here. <laughs> All right. Full throttle. Wow. Shit, that's not too bad. Yeah, that's 350 power right there, baby. Ugh. We're losing Kyle and that fucking smoke. Actually, it's not even smoking. I want to show it off. I need some of these normies to get freaked out. Don't let her die. Both for cherries and blueberries. Yep. And you let it die. It died. It rips. And it died. Oh no. Uh, I'll be back again then. I guess we can push it. Let's push it back now. Here we are on the side of the road. Something we know best. First breakdown. <clears throat> <laughs> Maiden voyage, first breakdown. Oh That's yeah. How it goes right. Oh yeah. It's a good thing we didn't drive out of town to figure this one out. <laughs> it actually runs pretty damn well. Yeah, it does. Gets up and goes. <sighs> just needs to stop and idle. It, it stops. It just doesn't idle very well. It was idling high, and then it wasn't idling at all. Yeah. Oh, 
Oh yeah. And we're ready to go again. How is it way back there? It's a long ways back here. Yeah. Yeah, I can hardly even smell you. First time on a natural roadway. We're moving. We're moving down the road. Like a real boy. We just killed it. I can't get out. <laughs> Wait, Wayne, steer. Well, since we're stuck downtown waiting on Kyle, might as well grab some awesome food next door. Shane's got experience in the back. Yep, everybody needs to at some point. There it goes. Oh, okay. Wow. Full tank of gas and a new battery. That's what they call a pit stop. <laughs> <laughs> wow, it drives like shit. <laughs> oh, but the visors work like a dream. Speed limit 25. Yeah, speedy. Yeah, but I don't know what this is actually saying. I mean, it might be 30, but I doubt it. Yeah, you're going too fast. I can feel it. The wind says, too fast. Yep. <laughs> well, that was quite a ride. She is running a lot better after doing just a simple plug change, make sure it's getting some clean gas but we're having a slight problem of making it stop. We have bled the brakes, done damn near everything we could to figure out why these won't work. We got everything loose, now it's time to actually take it apart. That would explain why we have no brakes up front. Well, take that back. We had one passenger brake, but no driver's side brake. Wow. Somebody actually deleted, or I don't know if you can call that deleted the brakes, but removed the brakes and actually put plugs into the wheel cylinder which explains why we were able to bleed it here they are my new brake shoes for my 1973 checker aero bus my originals that were tired and the only one on the front because the driver's side had been deleted it took a while uh, but we found out that the Rear drums and front drums of this car are identical to that of the 1967 uh, Barracuda. So we got parts for that. 
and this hardware kit comes with a couple extra springs because like I said it's set up for the drum brakes on the Barracuda so I got e-brake material in there the original for the aero bus comes with this extra long spring that comes down into this little hole here the new Barracuda kit comes with the same style of spring only a little bit higher up in this other hole I don't know why they had to change it but they did um, thanks to everybody at the checker forum informal order of checker heads you guys rock I couldn't have found this stuff without a little bit of your help and assistance here's a look at what new wheels are going to be going on the checker some 22 inch super old and beat up wheels that will look perfect but of course the bolt pattern is different because nothing in our lives is easy so we got a set of wheel adapters but of course it can't be that easy as you can see our hubs did not fit the wheel adapters so we modified our new wheel adapters I've gotten all my measurements off of this one. We fiddled with it for a while and finally got it right. So now that I have my measurements, I'm going to go ahead and lay this one. And you get to watch. All right, well, after running into some difficulty again, because what's new? Not having the right size lug nuts because they wouldn't fit into the hole with a socket. We managed to get another set that works. Looks like we got them on. Looking pretty good. Always remember when using wheel spacers to put red Loctite on the studs just to make sure nothing comes out. Now that this works, we're about to fit up some 22s and hope and pray that we can make them actually fit without chopping out too much of this lovely original quarter. Well, it's time for that magic money moment. Let's see how she does. like we just have the tiniest bit rubbing up here just a little gentle massaging can get rid of that other than that we got a pretty damn good amount of room I think it's gonna work all right we got rims on and we're gonna go for our maiden voyage go for the sort of see what happens since we couldn't make it to Wasteland because the big old car is just too heavy for the poor little Dodge. Next year. Just drive the sucker down there. Leave the Dodge. Hell yeah. Oh, there she be. Oh yeah. Running good, headlights, marker lights, all tuned up, fixed up, registered, ready to go. <laughs> yeah. Almost ready to go. <laughs> Come on, we're starter.
Um, so we may or may not need a new starter, but that's minor stuff. We don't care. Bigger car, we go first. Or not. Ah, fuck you. There we go. Oh, she's cold. Maybe we should have let her warm up, but that's not the way we roll. No. raining rust on us from opening and closing all the doors so many times. <laughs> Scared the forerunner away. Yeah, they, I left them in the dust. They're way back there. <laughs> Church bus. I don't know what to do about that. Yeah. Oh, Ooh, there's a scrape. A little rub-a-dub-dub. To be expected with 22s in a car that was not meant for 22s. No. And get a little bit of air in that back tire. Make it happy. Oh yeah, I picked the door that does not unlock. <laughs> but all the other doors do now work. So hopefully we will not get stuck in the checker. So we didn't touch on this very much, but uh. There's the gas tank. So far it works pretty well. And uh, it's really easy to tell how much gas you have. You just reach over and pick it up. How much air was in it? Less than 20. <laughs> we got 25 now. Nobody inside knows what to think about this car. They're just, they look at me and then they look outside and then they look at me and then they look outside and they're just like, I don't understand. <laughs> Do you actually have that many friends? <laughs> yeah. Hopefully the tires still have air in them. Jeez. Maybe we need to do a little more fender love. Yep, sounds <laughs> like it. Either that or go as slow as humanly possible over every single bump. Yeah, fuck that. Yeah, <laughs> that sounds stupid. Well, boys and girls, that's that. We got a uh, running driving limousine for Apocalypse Auto. Right on. Thanks for coming along for the ride. Hell yeah, till next time.